Hello everybody, this is Chioske here yet again with another SC2 replay. So today we are going to be doing a TVZ and I don't remember this map name. <laughs> so again, I'm going to be playing on my unorthodox account, just uh, doing something a little bit different this time. So as the title of the video is probably going to indicate, I played a Terran vs Zerg and I went for some Thor drops. So Thor drops in uh, TVT are generally pretty good just because of like the amount of damage it can do versus just uh, a lot of the early game stuff that Terran normally does. Against uh, one siege tank and just a handful of marines it still can just clear everything out so um, you have to try and target down the medevac and then just probably you're gonna be guaranteed to get some SCV kills. But in Terran vs Zerg I actually haven't done this strategy as of uh, yet or recently so I thought I would try it out on this map so going for a 15 barracks and then 15 refinery if I remember correctly my opponent is going to be going for his natural expansion down uh, pretty early and then his pool and then getting a few more drones. So recently I have discovered that in Terran vs Zerg, the Zerg players get their third bases roughly around 3 minutes into the game, so we're going to be looking for that as well. Zerg normally also places a couple of overlords, normally place one behind the natural expansion and probably over here as well. Looks like he is just going to be keeping his second overlord at his natural expansion though, being a little bit more defensive with it. So in the meantime, I'm going to be throwing down my natural expansion once I have the minerals for it. And the Reaper is on the way here. Opponent is going to be getting, a actually, just now starting his uh, gas. So probably going to be going for speed, I do believe, in this game. And going to be starting the Queens here. Now for just the additional larva production, I'm actually going to be going for a roach warren instead here. Don't really remember scouting that out, but normally when I go for the reaper openings, I just try and, and uh, get down to the natural expansion, see if I could get a couple of drone kills, and then just try and keep the reaper alive so then I can scout for the, the third base. So in the meantime, my reaper is actually, I might have been able to see these two zerglings go across the map, but in the meantime, I'm just going to be microing and he doesn't retreat the lings, so in the meantime I can get a couple of, or weaken one drone quite heavily. Get one drone kill, he doesn't uh, hide the other one to the main base, and actually goes for the attack on the natural one as well, or er, for the third one. So, Reaper going to get a nice set of three kills. I thought there was a way to jump down up here, but I was thinking of different map, so I have to go the slow way. Luckily for me, he didn't uh, micro his queen at his natural expansion to pick off the Reaper, so I'm pretty happy about that. He does send the two lings all the way across the map, but I already have two marines out at this point because I did go for the factory, or the reactor. The reactor slows down this build a little bit. Normally, I'll go for the factory, get the tech lab, um, then get the armory and then get the starport, but in the meantime my reaper does get picked off by a handful of roaches and they are going to be crossing the map. So I know I realize, or that I lost my reaper early on so I'm going to be throwing down a bunker. I actually didn't catch what caught it or what killed my reapers and I thought it was only a um, set of zerglings but little did I know roaches were coming. So my opponent is now going to be throwing down his expansion at roughly the 4 minute mark just a little bit delayed because he is getting these early set of roaches and just behind this he's not continuing with the aggression just going for some more drones. In the unit tab we can see 22 um, drones to my 28 SCVs but he does have a lot of roaches at the front. Bunker does finish up, he's going to be targeting down a few of my SCVs that were repairing this bunker. Uh, the mules probably not the biggest deal right now so he doesn't even go for them, just going to be skirting behind my mineral line trying to see what he can do. Gets a little bit too close to that bunker and takes one of his roaches. Um, or he loses one of his roaches I should say. And in the meantime I eventually start the Thor production and a couple of SCVs I believe were still trying to kill these roaches because I was trying to just defend but with three roaches and no additional follow-up, he is just going to retreat for the time being. Now starting his speed and his bane lanes, getting a couple of evolution chambers, just starting pretty much everything. So um, 
Personally, for him, I would like to see a couple more gas because all of these, all of these things that he's getting requires a lot of gas. He's only getting one gas geyser though, and he does have a little bit banked up, so that's okay for him at the moment. But the main hero of this story is the Thor drop medevac. Now loaded up, you can see the fatty little Thor inside of the medevac as well. And in the meantime, my opponent is going to be just continuing to drone up. Really doesn't have any additional defenses besides the three roaches and couple of lings that he made earlier. So I see this army and I'm just going to be dropping off the Thor. I figure that the Thor could probably take this small little Zerg force. And I really like what I did here as well. I'm trying to position the Thor right in this little corner so his uh, Zerglings can't get our goods around. But it really didn't matter since uh, he didn't have too many Zerglings to begin with. Going to be throwing down a mule not uh, to BM in any way, shape, or form, but actually to repair this Thor and get as much damage done as I can. It's going to be targeting down the mule, so uh, no more repair for me. Going to be killing a few drones in his third expansion as well, but in the meantime, I do have another medevac loaded up and ready to go. Thors do really, really well against queens, so he's going to be retreating his, and I overextended a little bit, but was able to pick up the Thor and just continue to be super annoying with this. I'm going to be going to the um, natural expansion, and the Thor takes an overlord priority versus these drones for some reason. So now have the second Thor drop in the natural ex or the third base of my opponent, going to be killing this queen. So now he's going to be pretty starved for larva doesn't have the best rally points either, and again, since he loses his queens, he doesn't have as much larva, so he can't really produce too much stuff at the moment, so he's going to be throwing down another hatchery, but um, just because of how much damage these Thors have done, if we look at the units last time, he, uh, he didn't have a good time, especially since the roach pressure that he did in the early game. Uh, it did some pressure, it killed a good handful of workers, like five or so, but uh, really didn't do the critical damage that he wanted to. So, this was a really fun game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys can experiment with it on the ladder a little bit, and I will talk to you guys later.